Hey folks, how's it going? Welcome back to Law Creations. Welcome back to another video. I just wanted to share my newest uh, 1 6 scale custom diorama. And for those of you that follow the channel, you'll notice that this is uh, very similar to the 1 18th scale diorama I made of the broken wall. But I wanted to make it in 1 6 scale. And so I did. So uh, a whole bunch of carving going on here. Uh, the majority of it is pink insulation foam. Uh, very basic, very standard uh, piece. But I wanted to give it a weathered piece of of an environment of like uh, just some snow. I wanted to capture that. I made some uh, handcrafted uh, crates that I can show you. I made this little barrier here where he can kneel behind as if he's uh, in a battle. And... Yeah, so, I mean, nothing crazy, nothing out of the ordinary here. Just a very fun piece to build. And it actually was a commission, so I had to finish it up today because I want to mail it out on Monday. So that was the whole reason to finish it today. But, yeah, I just wanted to share it with you guys. So these uh, crates here, these were a blast to make. And this particular lantern is all handcrafted. It's custom. I just uh, took a bunch of pieces from around the uh, studio. And I went ahead and uh, created it. Did some wire here. And um, I made it permanent onto the onto the uh, crate. Because I wanted to give it a working LED. And it's just taped in. And you, you, you definitely can... Squeeze in there and get the lantern to go on. As you can see there. And it flickers. And you can place it anywhere. These crates are probably a little bit small for 1-6 one six, one six scale. Uh, but they would be perfect for one twelve. But I'm going to send them with this diorama anyway. Because I still think it looks pretty good. And, uh, yeah, this was really simple to make. I, I'm actually going to do a tutorial on this and just show you guys what I used and how you can achieve uh, these particular crates. I just did some weathering and with some watercolor pencils and so on and so forth. A little bit of a dry brush. And this one here, this one was fun. This is just one piece of, like, floral foam, and then I... I went in and I cut individual pieces of pink foam, made it the uh, the width, the thickness that I wanted, and just went in and carved it. I didn't go crazy with the carving because I didn't want to tear up the foam. And yeah, so on and so forth. And this is made out of uh, just string. And what I did was I just, uh, I used some water and some some glue, some white glue, and I just soaked it and I... I twisted it and then I drilled a hole, well, punk, you know, punctured the holes and and voila, you got a nice little uh, handles. So, I, I mean, it's in scale, not too bad. It's just because it's a thin crate. It would hold probably maybe this gun. This one's probably a little more in scale, but that's okay. Like I say, I'm going to send it as a... Uh, just as an extra with the diorama. It's all magnetized. It's, uh, this is all one piece. Let me take, I got this guy off of eBay for, uh, I'm sorry, Amazon for $22. It's my only one six scale figure. And I started customizing it. I just did the, the helmet because this is just a solid green and it came with like a bungee little. So I just started customizing. I'm going to customize my first one six scale figure down the road so yeah just a little barrier gave it some bullet holes this is just a dowel and i did everything around the dowel i mean this could get a little bit more weathering and i just may because it's very plain i could do some you know some little metallics where the bullets hit and so on and so forth some blacks you know but yeah i'm pretty happy with it. i just wanted to give them a little extra alternative for some from this displays and you can you can comfortably fit uh two figures on here pretty comfortably so let me move this and this is just a 
uh, attachable piece is magnetized just to kind of fill in that corner there that I wanted to give him. This piece comes off. So he could display it, you know, however he liked, but it is intended to fit in here as such, as a broken piece of a wall. This is all one piece, this here. Magnetized, I uh, painted the back black. I painted all the sides black. I'll probably give it another coat before I send it. Did I paint the bottom? I don't remember. Nope. Which I won't because nobody really sees it so when it's displayed. But I just wanted to paint the back and just give it a solid black color. So yeah, that's uh, very basic. Very simple. 1-6 scale diorama. And let's see, what else I got going on? Been busy with my uh, FDM printer. So I, I, I made this in Tinkercad and I did the measurements from the... Uh, from a certain barrel I had. I believe it was from the Dollar Tree. And I did it a little different. I just gave it one ring in the middle. And these will be cool to paint. And put some signage on. And they're solid pieces. So they're pretty cool. And I did some windows. And Tinkercad. This one came out really nice. This one had a little bit of trouble printing. But not bad. What, what I did is I just took a black and white picture from... Google, I exported it into Tinkercad, and um, you got to convert it, convert it to an SVG file before you put it in Tinkercad, and then if it's a decent quality, it turns into a 3D print, which I didn't have to do anything uh, with, and that's exactly how it came out. So I can, you know, I can always go in and scale it up, scale it down. Those were fun. I'm doing a working on a war hammer diorama that's uh coming along that's it's going to be two feet by two feet so it's going to be a good size piece and i kind of kit bash custom made you know some windows for that piece in tinkercad and all these all this was exported into tinkercad and then combined and and then 3d printed which was a lot of fun so uh been enjoying doing that i um uh, did the same thing with a little a little like stamp here which was pretty cool uh that's about it that i've been up to and i want to these windows i 3d printed you may have seen these before and i was just working on that i put a blue uh blue vellum on the back and i went into tinkercad and i added that skull at the top for a warhammer window style uh let's see i gave it some rivets and so on and so forth so we're looking for the painting those up so i got like i feel like three four commissions and you know i've been picking up the pace with commissions uh only because uh, a couple weeks ago my daughter got engaged so i need to uh contribute <laughs> I need to contribute other than my normal job a little bit and try to get uh, some extra finances. So if anybody's watching this and you would like a uh, commission, let me know. Uh, I don't I don't try to break the kitchen bank with you guys and I'll give you a good deal, especially if you've been uh, participating in the channel for a long time which I have quite a few that have been with me from day one, which is remarkable, So, which I appreciate. Uh, let's see, is there anything else going on here in the studio? Not really. I can, let me give you a quick view of the door on this particular diorama. I'm starting to work on, uh, let me get rid of this stuff here so nothing falls. So I actually got a lot done. I got so much more to do. Forgive the size if you guys can even. Uh, it's so huge and, and the terrain is going to be really cool. Uh, let me. Let me see if I can. Back out a little bit. Just so you can get an idea of the door there. So. But yeah. 
working on this and this has been a lot of fun but very tedious uh very a lot to do uh, i was able to do some angle cuts because i made myself a uh, angle jig for my my uh proxon cutter so that's coming along pretty good and that's about it folks i i will do a tutorial on these particular and the craft foam that i use is from hobby lobby so this stuff is only nine dollars it's floral so you you can't carve it i only use it as a filler because when you carve it, it goes all over the place and it's a mess. But it, it's excellent for a filler. And then if you want to add on top of it, it, it really uh, saves on using uh, the expensive pink foam. So what I did is I cut these to size. So for $8.99, you get uh, two pieces, just about an inch thick, uh, just about 12 inches wide. And about 48 inches long so you get a lot of foam for nine dollars so that's what i did here i cut two pieces i glued them together and then i took uh i took individual pieces i thinned it down with my proxon and that's what gives you the different you know thicknesses and you can do the individual carving and like i said i'm really proud of this lantern i i, I really love it i i think it came out really good this is definitely in scale with 1.6 scale figures. Uh, it's a little large for 112, but uh, yeah. So like I say, I I put everything there, I ran the wire through, soldered everything. And this here, I just drilled some holes in the wood and I super glued and I just kept moving it. I didn't let the super glue dry uh, to where it just stuck in place, but I, I just kept... Uh, kind of moving it as it was drying and that's what allows me to you know have it up you could I mean if it was free freestanding you could have it hanging but I made it permanent on this particular crate which I thought was pretty cool you can put this over here this guy you can put over here sleeping there's there's a lot of options and opportunities so but how I yeah I'll get back to this is I I use this as my filler and I just use thin pieces of uh, scraps uh, for my crates. So I hope you like them. I hope you like the diorama. Stay tuned. I'll do a tutorial on these crates. Pretty straightforward. Pretty basic. Uh, you can sit with me as I uh, I run through the process a little bit. Because uh, my editing skills suck. So, you know. So bear with me. I'll do my best. And like I say, some pretty cool barrels. For 118 scale, I mean 112 scale, and that's about it, guys. You guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. For those of my uh, Christian brothers and sisters, uh, happy Easter. Or, you know, those of you who, you know, uh, celebrate Easter, happy Easter, okay? And uh, take care and enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'll catch you on the next video.